how do you get a shield out of a circle? Okay, well, this is how you do it. I'm gonna take my circle, and then I'm going to duplicate the circle so that it comes up like this, right there. And I'm going to subtract the front most object so I get kind of a nice little curved shield edge right there. And then I'm going to take a box and I'm going to cut off most of my object, like so. I'm gonna chop it off. There's my shield. And then I can copy this whole thing and then I'd have to go and I'd have to flip it over. Well, that's where the reflect tool comes in. And the reflect tool is going to allow me to take this object and allow me to reflect it over a specific axis and then I can copy it. So how this works is I'm gonna grab the reflect tool which is going to be nested in with the rotate tool right here. And the reflect tool is basically going to be a mirror. And how this works is if I hold down my option key and I option click, it's gonna say, okay, how do you wanna reflect this? Over the vertical axis or the horizontal axis? Well, I wanna reflect it over the vertical axis here, but I wanna copy it as well so I can create my little shield right there. And that can work just fine. Now, if you want to reflect over something that isn't vertical or horizontal, we're gonna show you that as well. So here's my little shield, and I'm gonna grab both objects, and I'm going to merge them both together. And if I wanna create a more round shape, well, then I'm just going to take a circle here, and I'm gonna draw the circle, and I can just drop the circle in here, or I can do an oval, touch those points, and pull that however I want to, and then, of course, subtract the front of this, and then I can create any type of shield that I want to. Again, I may go in and I may just drop a little triangle in the middle of it there to create a really cool shield, like so. Because I want the little divot to come out of the bottom right there, so that's gonna drop right in the middle. I'm gonna subtract that. There's my shield. However you wanna do it, okay? Now, if I want to go in and I want to create like a shadow on one side of these things, I can do that as well. And shields are nice because it kind of gives that highlight shadow effect. And so I'm gonna duplicate this. I should have just saved the one corner, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to copy and paste this so that I just get this half of the shield. And I'm just gonna get rid of those points right there. So I just have this half of the shield right there. And then to create a highlight or shadow, all I do is I just go in and I create a darker or a lighter color of this and I can just place it right over the top right here so that I get a perfect fit and now I can have a shield that has like both edges on there, highlight shadow. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm not gonna redraw this stuff, okay? I'm gonna take this same edge that I did right here and I can reduce it down a bit, take my selection tool, get rid of all those extra points, switch it over to a stroke instead, bump up the stroke, change the color of the line right there, round the ends of the stroke, and now I can have a highlight and a shadow on these things as I reduce these things down. But I wanna flip this over because I want the highlight on this side here. So I'm gonna grab my reflect tool. And so there's my reflect tool right there, which is O, I don't know why it's O. And now I wanna reflect this over a fake, or not a fake, but a vertical surface. Think of the reflect tool as being a mirror. Okay, so if I wanna reflect this right here and you click here and here, the whole thing flips. So I'm gonna show you a really cool way without calling up the dialog box, how you can go ahead and reflect over a surface. Think of this as drawing a mirror with a reflect tool. I would like it to reflect over a mirror right here so it's gonna be left to right. So if I click here and I hold down my shift key and I click here, I've basically created a vertical line as if I've created a fake mirror and that's going to mirror it right across the edge there. And then I can come in and I can reduce the size of my arc there. And here's the thing with reducing the size of an arc. It doesn't work by going in and just fitting the whole thing and reducing overall proportionately because you now have a curve that, that needs to be tinkered with a little bit. So I can go in and create this highlight on my shield. And I think at this point, I'm gonna convert this to, from a path to an outline, and then I'm going to get rid of that cap there, and I'm gonna join those together right there to create a perfect little highlight right there as such. And I can duplicate this, 
and I'm going to reflect over this axis. I'm going to take my reflection tool. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to shift click down here, creating a vertical line to reflect over, and it does. And then I can grab that over here, and I can park that right there, choose a darker color as we go, and I can now have a shield that is going to have some dimension to it and some character to it as well.